Hey there, I'm Dylan on Market Street. Today we're talking all about the Century Stand, also known as the C Stand. These things are like the Swiss Army knives of the film and photography industry, able to hold flags, lights, and pretty much anything you can think of. But be warned, they can also be very dangerous if you don't handle them with care. That's why I'm here to show you some best practices when using a C Stand on your next shoot. First things first, let's talk about picking up and moving the stand. When you grab a C-stand, make sure to hold onto both the stand and the gobo arm, or you might end up with some nasty finger pinching. And when you put it down, make sure the biggest leg is facing the subject you're filming. So if it falls, it falls away from them. Last thing you need is a lawsuit from an angry actor talking about how you ruined their career when you knocked them in the head with one. Trust me. But you also don't want it falling at all, right? That's why you always put a shot bag or sandbag on the tallest leg to keep it from falling over. If you put it on the shortest leg, it might drag on the floor and not give the stand enough weight. And speaking of weight, always remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. When you put weight on the gobo arm, make sure it's pulling in the clockwise direction or it might loosen over time and become a failure point. You don't want your lights crashing down on someone's head, do you? Now, most C stands come with two risers to adjust height. When using the riser, always extend the top riser first. That way, if you need a little extra height, you can always extend the lower riser. And if you're filming inside someone's house or business, don't forget to put some tennis balls on the bottom of the stand to protect their floors. Trust me, you don't want to be the one who scratches the client's hardwood floors. While you're at it, if you're using a gobo arm, make sure to put a tennis ball at the end of the arm if on a dark set so no one accidentally pokes their eye out. C-stands come in different sizes and configurations, and you have a few options to choose from. The most common sizes are 20 inches and 40 inches, and you can get them with either a Rocky Mountain leg or a turtle base. The Rocky Mountain leg allows the uppermost leg to move up and down, so you can use the stand on uneven terrain or more commonly, stairs. The turtle base has a junior receiver that you can use to set up a light very close to the ground. It's also easy to travel with and pack in smaller spaces because the riser assembly and base can be separated. And don't forget about the gobo arm. It's an essential piece of your kit that lets you extend and position your flag or modifier in many different ways. But when you're using it, always remember, make sure the tallest leg and gobo arm are parallel to each other so the weight on the stand is supported. These stands are made by companies like Matthews, American Grip, Avenger, Savage, Lowell, Kupo, and many others. They're all great options depending on what your budget is. Just remember to handle with care and always follow these tips to avoid any mishaps on set. Until next time, I'm Dylan with Market Street. Happy filming.